All right, so we wanted to do a quick little video on what we do to take a stock Fiesta control arm and turn it into uh, one of these R2 spec Fiesta control arms. And uh, so essentially what we're doing is we're taking out the stock uh, rubber bushings and the stock ball joint. Uh, so the issue with these is, is these are fairly flexible. So as you're braking and steering, this can kind of move around and, and is gonna make the steering uh, feel a little more vague and, and change your alignment slightly. Uh, stock ball joints can be a bit of a failure point uh, if that can actually pull itself out or blow the bottom cap off and, and maybe you end up with a control arm that's no longer connected to your ball joint. Uh, so what we're doing is pressing those pieces out and then we've got these inserts that get pressed in where the bushings and the ball joint were with a, a spherical bearing um, that gets pressed in there and then there's some top hats that top hats on the back that would fit into the subframe, uh, so you get a really nice solid mounting point without any play. And then on the ball joint, replacing that stock ball joint with this uh, pin, uh, so that's gonna with one of these spacers fit down nice and tight into that that bearing. You've got the bushing on the other side, and then this is a M16 nut. That's the the size of the thread on one of these and then uh, that will fit up into the, the knuckle uh, and give you just a nice really solid robust mounting point instead of that stock ball joint on that outer outer bit so uh, I know there was a question about what size these were so like I said this is an M16 nut and then it steps up a little bit where it actually slides into the, uh, the upright and the control arm choose your bearing size so so find a, a spherical bearing that's kind of the right size for what you want to do then have a piece machine that would both accept that bearing and then fit in there and then you're going to want a spacer that would space that bearing down to whatever bolt size you, you have so um, like a lot of control arms are held in with an m12 bolt so that's a 12 mil hole and then it spaces it up to that and then gives a nice place to to clamp the control arm in um, the other way of doing it would be to do something tubular where you could have um, this style bearing or maybe a rod end on the inside joints um, and kind of completely remake the control arms. That's the, the other route that you can take. Uh, other thing we do, uh, and this is a kind of a new update for this newest spec of R2, is there's a plate that gets welded on the bottom to kind of box in that, that stock control arm. So that's what it looks like normally. It's just a stamped piece of steel. Uh, so we're adding a little bit more steel in to box that, that control arm in um, and make them a little bit stronger.